Debugger. The debug mode in the sequencer can be used to debug especially larger sequences that are a bit more complex to analyze and to see how they work. If we make a mistake somewhere in the sequence, it might not be so easy to find it by just simply checking different blocks in the main sequence sheet. For this example, I will actually make a mistake on purpose and here in the if block I will just simply check if the frequency is greater than 1200 Hz and if it is at the same time greater than 20,000 Hz, like that. So in this case the condition will never be true and we will have a small bug in our sequence. Perfect for the debugger. So instead of normally playing the sequence, we will use the debug button here, which will take us into the debug interface. It looks very similar to the regular uh, sequencer, the play option, but with a difference, there is a few options and a few uh, different screens on the left side. Like for example, at the top we have a few different buttons that we can use to either step into the block, step over or basically execute the current block. If you find ourselves using the step into the custom block, we can use the third option to step out of the block and the fourth one is to simply run the sequence. Here in the main sequence sheet, we can see our current sequence and the current block that will be executed next is colored in green. In, at the bottom, we have a watch list for all the different channels and variables and a few different other options to check the output of the debugger, the call stack and the data breakpoint list. So first we want to simply play the sequence by using the run button here. Okay, currently it is being executed and you can see that the frequency is always out of range. It always goes to the right block here that, if we go back to the sequence, always says frequency is out of range. So something must be wrong here in this loop. So here I will use the option here, right click and debug, and I want to add an output string. So we will see how the sequence is being executed. So I will say here in range and for the other block I want it to say out of range. Okay, let's go back to the debugger and change to the output tab down here. And if we run the sequence, we can see that it says out of range all the time, even if I try to whistle with the correct frequency. Okay, if we now pause the sequence and check the output list here, we can see that it never changed to in range. So, what we can do next is actually click on the block here. You can see that the green dot or the green circle changed to red, which means that we have added a breakpoint here. Another option is, if we go back to the main sequence, to right click on the block, go into debug and add a breakpoint. Okay, so what we really need to do here is add a breakpoint to the if block because that is where the decisions are made. If I add a breakpoint here, run the debugger and run the sequence, we can see that the sequence stopped at the if block. Okay, and here if I go to, into the watch list, I can actually see the frequency that was measured at the beginning of the execution of the if block. And if I now use the step over, I can see how the sequence works. It switches between if and the delay block. And here at the bottom, even if you try to whistle with a high frequency, we can see that it never switches to this side. So something must be wrong in the if block. Let's go back and take a look. If block, of course, we made a mistake here. It shouldn't be higher than 1200 and higher than 20 
1000 Hz. Okay, if we change that back to 1400 and go here and remove clear or breakpoints. Now that we cleared all the breakpoints, we can run the sequence again and see how it works now. Run the sequence. Okay, if we quickly change, check the output here, we can see that the frequency was out of range sun sign and then it also switched to in range. So there, we fixed our sequence.